G'day everybody, my name is Lol and welcome to the channel. So somebody sent me this interesting link. Um, it's Brisbane City in the Sun. It's filmed in 1950. So I thought this would be very interesting. I live in Brisbane, if you didn't know. So uh, this is obviously going to be very interesting for myself. And I thought maybe others might find it a little bit interesting as well. So let's let's do this one. Brisbane City in the Sun. So I have no idea what this is going to be about, but I'm all here for it. So let's let's have a look at this one. <laughs> In just such a cutter as this, Lieutenant John Oxley sailed into the Brisbane River in 1823 and explored it for 50 miles. Today, a city sprawls over the river, a city that draws its trade from the ends of the earth. Oh man, it looks so different already, jeez. A city of dignified but not pretentious buildings, of sunshine and beauty. From the heart of the busiest shopping center rises the tall spire of the city hall. Here, palms and fountains create a favorite resting place. Wow. So this is the city hall. Um, you can't actually drive. You can't actually drive up here anymore. It's all paved over. Um, only pedestrians can go here. This is where they have the big Christmas tree every year as well. And they do the lighting of the city for the Christmas time. Man, that's changed. It's changed, but it's still the same as well. Interesting. This is the big, biggest city, uh, the tallest building in Brisbane at one stage for quite a while. Uh, it's no longer, no longer the, the tallest building here, that's for sure. For citizens who have adjusted the tempo of their lives to a subtropical climate. city draws its strength from the illimitable so this is um roma street our big uh railway station in in brisbane uh it much obviously much busier than that now but still the same building jeez that's an old building okay primary wealth of queensland a state that someday perhaps will prove the richest in the australian commonwealth agriculturally oh. it is tropical wealth in a country where pineapples, bananas, pawpaws, and custard apples are backyard fruits. Big Crow. Uh, we're actually called the Pineapple State or Sunshine State as well, too. So, But we're actually called Banana Benders as well from Queensland. We grow a lot of bananas up here as well. Um, okay. okay. Brisbane revels in the sun. Life should be all leisure in such a place but the city handles the greater part of the imports for the vast state at its back. It shares the export trade with the state's smaller ports in the north, but its great commercial houses also control most of the manufacturers and the internal trade. The Queensland State Parliament administers a territory bigger than Britain, France, Germany and Italy put together. To travel its length is to travel as far as from London to Leningrad. It's a big city. It's a lovely city. The palm trees help to make it so. And the river. <laughs> the Ameri Wow, the river looks so different now. Um, so, so different. It obviously all built up along the river. You know, walkways and cycleways and 
all these electric bikes and everything else now. But um, yeah, definitely a still a source of um, attraction. You know, a lot of people spend a lot of time in the river. Um, yeah, wow. Americans liked it when they came here in 1942, and Brisbane will never forget them. It was General MacArthur's headquarters, and by this eagle, his men are remembered. And Queensland remembers... <laughs> I used to work in aged care, and you get a lot of stories about when the Americans were here. Um, probably ones I can't repeat on the internet, but yeah, a lot of stories about American soldiers in Brisbane. It's her own men That's of two sure. wars. The memorial and with the eternal video. flame of remembrance. St. John's, a sister cathedral to the one in Truro, England, is a treasure house of lovely artistry. Near the high altar are hung these tapestries. The carvings massed here on the pulpit front are intricate and beautiful. These sculptors adorn the choir stalls. oldest place in Brisbane is the windmill now playing its part in the city life as an oh yeah this place was um actually built by convicts um 18 something I can't remember but yeah it's still there you can still go and see it. it's up the top of the hill there um looking over the city but yeah I've been there before built by convicts an observatory it stands near the heart of the city but seems to typify the leisure and calm of Brisbane's suburban life The flaming red poinsettia is Brisbane's flower and most common decoration. Yeah. I'm at it um, just before Christmas. There's always interest about the river that winds haphazardly through the city and suburbs and on 20 miles to its meeting with the sea at Moreton Bay. The traffic of the waterway passes homes that have a character peculiarly Queensland. Many of them, for coolness, are lifted up on tall piles. These, these types of houses where they're lifted up on stilts, where the hot air will come through, you know, because um, Queensland is bloody hot all the time. Um, you only get a small spell of cool weather. These are actually houses are actually called Queenslanders. Um, particular to to our climate here uh, great houses very expensive now very expensive the river sets the tone of brisbane it winds about the great new university buildings at saint lucia holy crap <laughs> wow that is a massive university now at saint lucia uh, University of Queensland. Wow. That. Wow, there's nothing there. Jeez. Wow. Oh. The engineering and architectural students put their learning to practical use. From the centre of the city, steps lead down the riverbank to the cruise boat wharves, where the tourists set off on their little voyages of exploration in Oxley's Wake. You don't get much fishing down there now. That's for sure.
far from the beaches, water-loving Australians still find somewhere to swim. At the oasis, a whole chain of clear pools has been created in a setting of gardens and fountains, of trees and flowers and widespreading lawns. And of course, Brisbane goes to the races. There's Eagle Farm and Doombin, and this is Albion Park with its unique sand track. This is the way Australia loves to spend a day. I think the only one still in use is um, Eagle Farm. Doombin don't do the races anymore, and I don't think Albion does either. I think they're training tracks now um, where they just train the horses, but I think it's only Eagle Farm which still has actual active racing on it. It's a serious business, picking them. It takes a lot of thought. And here they come out of the barrier. Here he comes now, out of the bunch and well clear of them. And it's the favourite. It's the favourite all the way. And now to celebrate his success, and a real celebration it should be. Brisbane can put on as good a show as anywhere, for it's nightlife with a difference, both tropical and sophisticated at the same time. But the table, superlatively good food comes in two forms in the luscious fruits and in the seafood that is second to none. What the heck, what the, what the heck is that? Is that lobster with... I have no idea what that is. I've never seen that before. We do have great seafood here, though. Great, great seafood. I don't know what that is. Now. Do you know I'm not too impressed? <laughs> Pawpaws and bananas and custard apples look as beautiful as they taste. Not many people eat custard apples anymore. I don't think I've ever actually tried one. They're not very popular anymore. That scene on the wall is a mural of Cool and Gatter and Tweed Heads. Oh, the outermost of Brisbane's beach playgrounds. Ah. Magnificent evening, wonderful dinner, and a good orchestra. It leaves a good taste in the mouth, a sense of well-being, for Brisbane is a place full of contentment. <laughs> wow, that was really good. That was really good. That was nostalgic. There's some places, obviously, you recognize. Um, and so, like the Oasis, I don't know where that is. I've never heard of that before. Um, obviously, somewhere where they used to go and relax and swim in a crystal pool or something. I'll have to have a look at that and do some more research about that. But that was good. I enjoyed that. As somebody, obviously, who lives in Brisbane, um, has for a while, you know, get to use you know you get obviously to know the area around as well it's it's nice to see where it's come from you know brisbane is like any other city now you know you've got skyscrapers it's very busy inside the actual city center um a lot of these places now are overtaken with um new modern buildings you still get a lot of queenslanders the houses around as i said they're very expensive now because they're normally in the good spots you know close to the city uh you know and they're bigger built bigger than modern homes you know taller ceilings you know they're they're made to to keep the area cool your house cool in summer which is obviously beneficial for australia um 
especially Queensland, you know, we get a lot of hot summers here, a lot of humidity, so it's always nice to have that airflow. But yeah, very expensive if you can get a, a natural Queenslander. So uh, they are made of wood, so there's a lot of upkeep and, you know, uh, maintenance on them as well. So, but that was very interesting. I have to go now and see if there's any more like that. I may not record any, but I definitely want to see some more. Um, if you did enjoy this and you want to see some more, let me know. Uh, if you've got anything like that, I'm a huge history buff anyway, so uh, stuff like this is right up my alley. If you've got something like this, it may be your own town, it may be your own city, whatever, let me know. Let me know um, and you can send them um, to me. So uh, I definitely want to check some more out. So that was very interesting. As somebody who lives in Brisbane, looking at Brisbane, what is that, 70 years ago? A lot has changed. A lot stays the same. Um, it still is a, a tropical, we still do get called, you know, a bit backward here in Brisbane because we're not Britain, we're not Melbourne, we're not Sydney. Um, but Brisbane is a great city to live in. We do have a lot of green spaces around here. We do have a lot of um, conservation areas, so which is fantastic to see. We do have a lot of history with the convicts. We also have a lot of history with the indigenous peoples of this area too. So um, a lot of that is being conserved, which is fantastic news. So, uh, but that was really interesting. I really enjoyed that. That was really fun. So let me know if you enjoyed that, guys. Thank you very much for joining me today. Make sure you stay safe wherever you are, and I will definitely see you in the next reaction video. Did you enjoy that video? Why not watch another one?